Good evening, family. Hope you all are doing well. I am. Hey, went to work, did what I had to do, came home, cooked for the family. Now I'm up here trying to digress, cut out some videos, and talk to my YouTube family. Family, how are you all doing tonight? Okay, of course we're going to talk about these two young ladies Eva Marcel and Nene Leaks, yes, they're at the War of the Words. They're on social media going back and forth. Okay, trying to, I guess, drum up some more business of relevancy of keeping their names in our mouths, talking about them. So when they do cut up, whenever the reunion comes out, it makes it better for them. Okay. But we're going to get this story we're talking about tonight from Lil B. Scott. If you don't know who she is, she's a well-known blogger. And she definitely has met some celebrities in her time. Or her time, however she sees herself. I think he goes by he, but he dresses like a woman here and there. Okay. Uh, but if you go over to lovebscott.com, you can get all her commentary. All her information she may have on other celebrities. But we're going to be talking about the ones she put out today. Okay. On Eva Marcel's response to Wide Neck. Nene Leaks for saying she shouldn't be on the show. Glue your wig all the way down. Okay. Now I'm like, Nene ain't got no wide neck. She's got a big nose, but it's kind of streamlined a little bit now. It's kind of looking a little pointy. You know, a European-type European, European type nose. But Nina ain't got no wide neck. I mean, where is Eva coming from? I'm like, girl, what we need to see from you is a whole season by you not being pregnant. Okay? We don't want to see you pregnant no more because we can't seem to... Let people get on you too harshly. Or we can't view you too harshly. On some of the fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent shit that you do around on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because, you know, we don't like to go in on pregnant women. We just don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We get passes. But lo and behold, if you ever stay one season where you're not pregnant and you just giving us you all day every day like you doing up on your instagram account trying to call nene out yes honey i'm like girl we need that energy but we damn sure need you to stand in your shit so when the tape rolls back we could say okay yeah she said that and she's still saying what she said two weeks ago so okay because you like the back pedal honey eva you are known as the back pedaling tricycle wearing person driving person riding person over here you are so good at saying i say that when did i say that they misunderstood what i was saying all this that and the third especially when you were trying to say candy uh, was lying on you which most people know candy mess is hell but i ain't gonna necessarily call her a liar you know what i'm saying i haven't found that to be true thus far maybe give me a little more time we can find some falsities in her statements or whatever but as we know now we can't take candy as a liar we can take as a shit star a shit star and a bone collector but a liar nah we can't pin that on her as of today as of april 2nd 2020 okay so yeah nina your nose is kind of pointy now Trying to get a European type nose, girl. Hey, you been cloning it, girl. They said when y'all wear that gold hair, y'all going through an initiation type ritual up there in the elite standings and stuff. And you've been wearing gold for a long time. And uh, it seems like um, even Marcelo started trying to wear gold like him. But when I see Candy start wearing some gold hair, you know it's ritual time. All right, but that's going back to Lil B. Scott commentary. We're going to be talking about uh, Eva calling herself getting Miss Nene Leaks together. So let's go on in and see what Lil B. Scott wrote up on this. It says earlier this week, Nene Leaks spoke with Entertainment Tonight and said that Eva shouldn't be on the cast and that she adds nothing. Okay? I don't feel like Eva brings that much to the cast. I'm just being honest. It's really like when you look at a show... 
like everybody like the whole cast is away and you don't miss that person at all it's sort of like we didn't even know you were here you know and all season doing a lot of seasons or scenes from facetime that's been the last couple of seasons so i if i had to change i would change her said nene yeah, Nene, just pretty much like you said, you would change Cynthia because she was boring too. But we see Cynthia still here. Okay. Who got to decline my brother call while I finish this video? Okay, but anyway, we go in. It says, first and foremost, I was not in Greece because I was pregnant. Now, Nene, who is 55, doesn't remember being pregnant because of that 20 years ago. Because that's 20 years ago for her, said Eva. Now, I don't think Nene is 55. I think Nene might be 52. So, Eva liked to throw on truths here. You know, just like she called herself hitting below the belt or whatever. But you're going to have to come better than that, Eva, Marcel. You're going to have to come better than that. Even Portia reads Nene when she wants to better than that. So, Oh, you kind of dry. You kind of dry on that response, Miss Eva. But anyway, she continued. But I'm 35 years old with my family and beautiful husband. As far as my relevance on the show, I choose not to ever. Wait a minute, I choose not to every single day be ratchet. That is already enough ratchet. I eat her on the show. Why you do need two? Because, honey. We need two, three, four, five to keep the drama alive. However you want to get down and say it, Eva, we need you to tighten up on your backstroke, okay? Because this seeing you have babies have definitely played out for your storyline for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So we need you to pick up the pace. Now, this is what you want to do is go after OG Nene. Go ahead. She got the stamina. She'll do it. Or she'll go into some crisis mode and want everybody to kind of rally around her and, and, and kiss her ass. Oh, excuse me. And they not kiss her ass, but just, how do you say it? Just, I don't know, pamper her in some way. But anyway, it, yeah, we need you to step up your game. We all kind of tired, and I speak for everybody. <laughs> we are tired of seeing you having children on the show. Can you just give us one season? That's all I ask for. One season where you're not pregnant, you're not with child, so you can act like these other ladies free where we can get into your behind whenever we want to and we don't feel guilty about it, okay? Because you be saying some stuff and then you try to throw your hands away when nobody can't see the evidence that you threw the first punch. You see what I'm saying? Eva. But anyway, going back to the article. It says, um, I do me and represent the other part of black women that are smart, well-spoken. That's who I represent. So if I'm that boring, you spent time in your interview talking about me because your storyline is the fact that you have no storyline. Well, baby, you don't either, Eva. You don't either. Okay, you don't have a storyline. When you say things and it's not pleasant, you go back and try to say you didn't say it or you didn't say it that way. And this, that, and third. And they play a clip where it's showing you saying exactly what you said you didn't say. And then you try to like, you know, I don't know. It's try to explain your way out of that. But yeah, we need a little bit more from you, Eva. A lot hell of more. Okay. Eva ended up with these final words. This reunion is going to be lit. Glue your wig all the way down, sweetheart, because it is going down wide neck. So, again, Eva. Eva, Eva, Eva. You say you're intelligent. You say you're well-spoken. Um, and uh, what else did you say? You don't have time for ratchet, ratchetness. Okay? Ratchetriness. Okay, you say you represent the black woman uh, who are smart, smart and well-spoken. Well, Eva, girl, why are you hitting below the belt calling Nene names? Why are you calling her wide neck? You know what I'm saying? There's so many other things you can call her. You can call her out about her character, her demeanor, how vulgar she can get sometimes. But you don't have to play the name calling names, okay? Like you in high school, elementary, where you just pick at some flaw of a person and just, you know, be like a little bad rat running around. Or a brat, I should say. Oh, 
Eva, I'd rather for you to be ratchet than sitting up here name calling somebody. Don't call nobody out their name, okay? We don't like it. Just go and say what's on your mind, okay? Just say Nene is fucked up with her attitude, okay? Something to that degree. And then now you might be on point with that, all right? And how she go around and befriend people. And then for the show ends, she's sitting up there angry with them and choose not to be bothered with them, okay? Especially around reunion time. And that would be straight up on point. But this name calling stuff, that should be below you as well. Since you're a well-spoken, intelligent individual why do you have to stick to name calling okay that's very juvenile and childish oh this is my sidebar but we'll go in and let y'all listen to a little clip of her calling herself going off on nene and that she's going to take care of nene on the reunion show and it's going to be all about her and nene and she's going to get her together okay let's see what she's saying Because it is going down white back. That was my 30. She said widen it. Let's see if we can get that to play again. Come on, stop my friend. First and foremost, I was not in Greece because I was pregnant. Now, Nene, who's 55, doesn't remember maybe being pregnant because that was 20 years ago for her. But I'm a 35-year-old woman with my family and beautiful husband, and I'm continuing to make a family. As far as my relevance on the show, I choose not to every single day to be ratchet. There's already enough ratchet, i.e. her, on the show. Why do you need to? I do me and represent the other part of black women that are smart, astute, that are well-spoken, and that's who I represent. So if I'm that boring, you spent time in your interview talking about me because your storyline is the fact that you have no storyline. And if I do remember correctly, even though I was not in Greece, I was on FaceTime and I still got a check, unlike you who missed seven episodes this entire season. This reunion is going to be lit. Glue your wig all the way down, sweetheart, because... It's buffering y'all, but I think y'all pretty much heard it. She just called a wide neck, which was like kind of bully shaming in a sense. She didn't have to go there, but she took it there. But yeah, that was it about that, y'all. So y'all tell me what y'all thought about B. Scott's uh, celebrity entertainment news she brought out on Miss Nene Leakes and Eva. Marcella pressing the grass as hard as she can on Nene to push a point or reference a point that she can pretty much put Nene in her place by shaming her, by calling her wide neck. I mean, damn, she got a wide behind. You could have started with that, too. But why you have to do all this name calling? You know what I'm saying? Stick to the facts. Stick to the facts, okay? So, yeah. That's, uh... The article that I brought out. <coughs> Excuse me. And I said my plea. My part on what I felt. I still think that Eva's really a uh, sore loser in it. Because Nene did. I don't want to say she brought her on the show. But she, when she was shown on the show. Uh, she was coming in as one of Nene's friends. Nene. Were, uh, I think when he first started. <laughs> That season of bringing Eva in, they were at a restaurant dining with each other for the very first time. And Nene was introducing herself to the audience of how they get down, how they eat, how they go to different restaurants. And she was trying to give her a little clue of what each lady is like and this, that, and third. And she said she knew of Candy and I think Cynthia. I'm not really sure. But she kind of did her homework on the other ladies. But I'm like, girl... <sighs> Why everybody always trying to take out Nene? <laughs> I'm like, Nene says she's the queen. She's the HBIC. She's the author of this particular series we got going on here. And she ain't giving up the reins until Bravo say they don't want her back anymore. 
But you say, yeah, I see evil and went blind on us, honey, platinum blind. I'm like, okay, girl. Okay, I see you trying to claim them ranks. But family, now it is time for you all to weigh in on subject matter and give me some tea of what y'all thought about what y'all heard, of course, what y'all probably seen on social media that's trending of Eva Marcel calling herself going off on the Rickard Smiley show or uh, Gary with the tea, his little YouTube thing he's doing, or his little show that he has. Over there at uh, Ricky Smiley and his celebrity entertainment section. And maybe he was interviewing um, Eva at the time. And she just wanted to drop tea. Like I said, hell, ain't none of these ladies are uh, nice and fair to each other. They on now to get their check. And they know they got to bring the drama. They got to bring all the fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity to the screen. In order to solidify them for that season and upcoming seasons. If they do have them. If they don't cancel them, of course. Or cancel the show, I should say. But, I mean, we all just need to stop trying. Or not we. Not us, family. Let me just retract that. People that view the show for mindless entertainment, whatever gets them to come to watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta, we just need to stop having expectations of them ever being friends. Because like I said, I've been drew that line when I took Nene's player card on her being the self-appointed Real Housewives queen HBC over there. When she was doing some crazy shit, not acting like her OG, not standing in her shit, all like the woo hoo hoo, woo woo me my, you know, all this kind of stuff. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We just took the card. I lost it then. I said, these women are not friends. They come on the show to just drama up drama to hopefully solidify them another season because they cannot go without being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Each and every one of them has said, you know, separately. And Candy being the last one. She ain't going away from this show. She know the kind of platform she's on. And she know not now another job out there she can possibly get. Will match the income that Bravo is paying her. She ain't dumb. She ain't stupid. Okay. She trying to capitalize. So. That's all I got to say about this video. Say so what say fam you think about the video and the uh, subject matter. Do you think Eva has a say on how. Um, she looks at Nene now, and is she being a hypocritic, or, 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 or she's going in being some type of, uh, ah, I'm getting tongue twisted over here, is she's going with some type of hypocrisy, where she likes Nene one day, she up in her ass the next day, then she talking about her the very next day, I, I mean, I understand where Eva coming from, like, either accept her apology and move on, or just say you don't accept her apology, it's gonna be status quo, I hear you talking about me. I'll confront you. And then I'm going to get in that ass. Okay. And this is going to be it. What it is. We ain't got to be friends. We can be foes on this show. Okay. But you can just let basically know. We're not friends. We ain't really got to be co-workers. We can be straight up enemies. And you know. You come for me. I'm going to come for you. You come for anybody else that I feel like protecting at the time. I might protect them. But then I got to just do me how she said i'm gonna do me you do you so she ain't got no lawyer to, to none of them women up there because she showed her hand no lawyer to up there with tane sam sitting up there eating with the cookie lady cookies what the cookie lady brought her but then it could have just been eva being hungry and her pregnancy and this that and the third color got she eat up the whole world and still come out flawless flawless looking you know i ain't gonna say i'm jealous but i'm like damn girl you got a high ass metabolism oh i wish i could borrow it i wish i could borrow your metabolism because you sure do eat girl you eat. You eat without being pregnant and you eat pregnant and you still come out on top. Damn. Okay, but I get that to you, Eva girl. I get that to you. But again, what say you family on this particular uh commentary I brought out to you by way of B Scott dot com honey on this evil and nene leak situation. Okay, it's always a situation when it comes around reunion time, isn't it? Like, how are y'all going to break up to make up to just break up again? I don't know. Okay? I really don't know. I don't care, really. I really don't care. Because I, I really don't like you getting into it with anybody. Because you can't stand up for yourself, either. You say this. You be, you know, high, riding high on the horse. And then when you get confronted, you act like you got amnesia. I'm going to start calling you evil the amnesia chick. Okay? Because that's what it is. 
And that's all I got to say about this video. So like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, people. And I will see y'all next video. Good night. Or should I say, no, not good night. Um, See you later. Okay, bye.